If you want to add a chainsaw holder to your compact tractor, you can do this for about $8. There's a lot of great products out there. This one looks really good, but it's about 150 bucks, and it mounts on the side, which I don't think is the best spot for it, like blackberries and other things will get in there. This one mounts to your rollover bar. Again, looks like a great product, great reviews, but it's 115 bucks. Now look at this chainsaw scabbard, it's $8, and if you can find a good spot on your tractor to mount that one, it'll be a great and expensive option. Now take that scabbard and walk around your tractor, where would be a good spot to mount that? I'm not a huge fan of mounting it on the side, because first of all, that's load bearing material, so it's going to be really thick and hard to drill through. Plus I do think the blackberries and any kind of stuff that you brush up against will get in there, so not my favorite spot. I'm also not a huge fan of drilling through the rollover bar, that's also pretty thick, and again, it's load-bearing. So, but in the back, there is a really cool spot that I thought was ideal for my tractor. And this thin material right here, which is basically like your knee guard for the backhoe, it's not load-bearing, it's pretty thin, but it's also really out of the way, and so no blackberries or anything will get in there. And day to day, it won't interfere with anything. Here's a drawing. You want to drill through the flat part in the middle, not on the outside where your chainsaw chain will slide in and out. And then use some stainless steel screws so they don't rust. Use some washers and a lock nut, and that's how you mount that on the back of your tractor. First I drilled the small holes, and then the big holes from the other side. You can kind of see that here. Also, don't forget to put a hole at the bottom of the scabbard so the rainwater can drain out. I then used the scabbard as a template to drill the holes to the metal. Then I put the screws and the washers in through the big holes in the front and mounted the whole thing with another pair of washers and the lock nuts in the back. So here you can see the chainsaw in there, but what I don't like is that the bottom here kind of flaps around, you can see that here. So I figured I'm just going to add a third screw, again, you know, washers on both sides and a lock nut on the back, and that really took care of it. And now even the really heavy chainsaws work just fine in that scabbard. And you'll see a picture here. Now honestly, I don't think this will last as long as those commercial products, right? But hey, we're talking 10 bucks or 8 bucks versus 150 bucks. So for that, if I get 2 to 3 years of usage out of that, awesome deal, no complaints. And for that money, I'm actually tempted to mount a second scabbard so I can carry a second chainsaw. For $10 and 10 minutes of work, this is great. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.